All right. What's up, <clears throat> fellow settlement builders? Let me turn this radio off. Okay. Radio off. Here's what's going to happen. Uh, I came up with what seems to be at least an okay way to build something that resembles a barn pretty well. And uh, I thought I'd share that here for a few minutes. I tried it once. Like I said, it turned out okay. So uh, we're going to try and do this one more time. Alright, so like most things, we're going to start from the ground up. And if you don't know already, uh, if you want to get a level building area, a great way to do that is with these wood floors, the shack foundations. There's a concrete one like what you see here. There's also a wood one like you see here. They will go down into the ground a little ways. Uh, they come up a little ways. You can stack them if you want. Anyway, so I'm just going to do this real quick. Um, I'm going to build mine uh, essentially three uh, you, you can build this as deep as you want. I'm going to go uh, three sections deep, I guess, if that's one, what you want to call it. And uh, you'll get the, a good idea. So it's basically going to be... These will snap together pretty well. I'm going to build a three by three base to get us started. said that but come on buddy there it was I hate I hate the view on this sometimes some things I can fix pretty well as far as the view goes and some I can't alright so we have a three by three structure. We're gonna start by putting up uh, walls here around the first layer. So we're gonna use a specific type here, this guy. So we're gonna use this for our side walls. So uh, place one there. there you're gonna just line the whole side of your barn on both sides oh, I ran into the bush hold on just move this guy out hopefully that works right there okay so So basically, like I said, so I'm only building this essentially three deep. Uh, you could build it as deep as you want, I think. Um, I haven't tested going any wider, uh, but I believe that will work just as well anyway. So to get the kind of barn look that I'm going for anyway, we're going to put that there. We can make these, we can cap those ends off with a few wall pieces that clip in. Sorry, snap it out. Go in there. Come on. There we go. So I think you get an idea for what I'm doing here. Hey, quick little note. So uh, that wall that I have highlighted right now, uh, you can see it has a number one on it. And what that means is I have one of those stored in my workshop already. 
so that even though in the upper right it tells me what materials it's going to be used to build it, when I put this guy down, because I already have one, you won't actually see my resources decrease because it's going to use the one in my workshop automatically. There you go. The one disappeared. Alright, so I'm going to leave an opening in the front door. So now, so that's kind of the outer segment of our first layer. I'm going to go over to floors. So floors is where you get shack upper floor if you haven't done that yet. So if you want to build a multi-level building, this is what you want to use at least under the wood category. So if you can see, it's basically a double thickness and I can show you in a minute, but so the essentially when building these structures, the roof of the first floor is not the same as the floor of the second floor, if that makes any sense, which is why this is kind of has double thickness to it. So, I'm not going to do the whole second floor here. Um, that is the only one with double thickness. I'll put one right there and then I'll, we'll start working on our second layer. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Cancel that. I'm going to store this guy. Yes. Hmm. I actually am wondering if I should have tried using him uh, from the beginning instead of. Let's do this. Can I, I'm gonna store him. Uh, now I'm gonna see. Look at that. I didn't even know you could do that. Learn something new every day. I had not played with that unit yet. Uh, awesome. Okay, so we are on. The second floor of our barn we're actually what's still going to be inside so i'm going to start putting up some more walls to give us the second floor of our barn oops store that guy i could have just moved him but it doesn't really matter I did it again. I knew I was going to do that. All right, so we're enclosing the whole second floor. Get in there, buddy. All right, you're going to see how this is going to start taking shape here. I do want to show you something else. So let's say you just want the inside of your room to be multiple stories high. There's a bit of a problem. So if I remove this floor here, here's what you get. You get a gap. The only way that I know of to avoid getting the gap is to put down one of the upper floor pieces. Because if you just put down a roof piece right here, or a floor piece right here, uh, it, it does not work. So I could take this... Why? Maybe this does work and I'm not... Hey, that works even better. I should have tried more things. Okay, well that gets rid of the gap and means you don't have to have a full
Oh, that's right. It creates a gap on this side. I knew there was a reason I could not use that. Alright, so let's uh, get rid of that. But I'll let you guys play with that and find something better. Which I'm sure you will. Okay. So we have our second floor. I'm going to go out here. You're going to see how this is starting to look. Looks pretty good already. Starting to see the shape of it. Okay. So now we're going to do the roof. I'm going to go back down. Alright, there's a specific one that I that I liked. And that was this one. So uh, just after the totally flat one, which we're going to use that one too. So pop that guy in. Wish I could see what that was doing. But I can do it this way. So I'm rotating it so that, um, I'm on a PS4, I'm rotating it with L2 and R2. So I'm rotating it so that it angles up in towards the center of the barn. You'll see the general shape I'm going for right there. having trouble telling really which way I have that forgive me here I'm still getting I'm still really figuring out the The controls to really get it to turn exactly how I want it to turn and be positioned the right distance from my body and things like that. Alright, you can see the general shape again. We're about completed. So, I wish they made a ceiling or roof unit that was as high as that high point is right there on the inside of the slant, but they don't. Not that I can find. So, we're going to do. The thing that I found works best, and actually I'm going to try something. I'm going to see if we can oh no no don't do that okay so we're going to get we're going to replace that in a minute but so here's the best thing that I could come up with go back over to roofs and why am I not able to I'm really that low on wood are you joking sorry guys give me a minute here I had no idea Let me scrap a few trees. We 
We don't even need this much more, I don't think. And it's going to start storming, so we better get our roof on. Okay, I'm back up. So I put the stairwell in. Really, that's not going to... Well, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I like the fact that that's there. I used the wrong one. Store that one. There, this is the one I want. It's flat. We'll see here where I'm going with this. Alright. Okay, so we have the middle roof, or the roof sections kind of in the middle when you're looking at it from uh, horizontally or across. And then what I came up with to get the kind of look you want on the, on the front was to put those there on the ends. Oops. And doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. Those two could definitely be lined up better. All right, so now with the staircase in the middle, I guess you get the added feature of being able to go out there if you want, but what I'm going to do is simply replace that with the flat roof. And let's go check it out from up here. Look at that. Looks pretty cool. I think it looks like a barn. At least a little bit like a barn. Enough that I feel like I can call it a barn. And then in here, you know, the roof's not 100% matchy matchy. Again, it works pretty well. Uh, you got the stair access to the second floor, which you can use as a loft area or what have you. Bottom floor. Maybe instead of horses, you can put some power armor in here. Who knows? Anyway, uh, I had the idea. I thought I could make it work. This is what I came up with. Um, again, I think you could make it wider and deeper if you wanted to and follow the same basic principles um, I also uh, and I love the partially open all the way up to the top uh, room here I want to build something with more floors than this like that anyway okay that's what I got for you uh, feel free to leave a comment let me know what you think give me some other ideas tell me what I messed up on or some obvious things that I could have done better. Uh, that's about it. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy playing Fallout 4 like I do, and I will talk to you guys later.